But the support Aurelia into the Janna, they don't have much of a kill threat to say the least here. No. Because it's a Sivir and a Janna, whereas a Graves and an Aurelia. If you're looking at potential... He's really going to go straight into the dark binding there. Swift going to try and jump on top of him. The flash out there, but everyone following. SMLZ with so much damage down now as Doinby trying to get That's it turned it. around. Ruo, so much damage out of the QG lineup. Looper teleporting in. is going to be able to protect everyone. And Condi, the only man to die. Swift making his way down. Ruo, it's have to be very careful. There's the heal from SMLZ. As TNT is going to get taken down that monsoon a little bit late. And the True Shot Barrage not going to be necessary in order to take down. Whoa, I thought that Spear was going to be able to take that one down. But there's the Equilibrium Strike. Swift taking so much damage. Ruo unable to get over the wall. But is the Ignite going to be enough as Condi? He's going to get taken down. True Shot Barrage TNT taking so much damage from Tade. Wants to be able to get the kill. Essence Flux not enough. Looper burns him to death there as Tade now trying to chase everyone else down. This Rune Glaze and Poke. Boomerang almost grabs the second one. But the tunnel in. Condi still looking for it here. Ruo turned around on him. Massive damage from the True Shot Barrage, but M3 looking to try and grab this one. It is going to be locked down by Condi. A couple of extra spines going to be helping here. True Shot Barrage didn't actually find anyone here as QG still able to get a decent team fight. The double stun from the Soul Shackles gets them at least Ruo. And Looper now in no man's land on his own. Dade trying to get the poke damage in, but Doinby just takes him out. And you can see, look at this man's face. Doinby very from uh, SMLZ. Oh, no. Nice quick draw to get out of that one. Dark Binding has to land here if Doinby wants to do anything, but the teleport in from Lupa V actually flashes on top of SMLZ. Able to get out of it though in time. And Condi, he's now found his way around. Doinby has to be very, very careful. Looper locks down the kill onto V, and now Doinby. Black Shield, that true shot barrage is enough damage, and Dade locks down the kill. A complete misplay from Doinby right there. The dash. What the hell? Okay, uh, pretty sure Swift is dead, everyone. He is so dead. Yeah. Yes. He gets in. Does have the Zonyas. Wants to be able to get this snare, but Looper just what? dragons the sense out of it. SMLZ locks down Doinby. The rest of QG has to run away, and M3 decide they'll just take the free Baron. And again. And again. Yeah. It's a point dragon of as well. Yeah, Condi needs to be careful here. TNT found him as well, but Looper makes his way over. Does have enough for the Dragon's Descent. Can get over there if he wants, but Swift once again eliminated from the fight. Looper dancing straight into the pit. Collateral damage over for Doinby able to use the Zonyas. True oh. Shot Barrage nets a kill into TNT, and Doinby with nothing left is going to get destroyed. SMLZ locks down that kill. That Condi trying to find his way in. Looper right round the side as well. Oh. Everyone pressured off. Dade locks down the kill into Doinby. I'm just not ready for it. This it's is so real. much. Someone dies. Yeah, in he goes. There's the monsoon to get Looper out of the fight, but he's right into the back line once again. Dade flashes for oh. a run. Instant double kill. A triple out of there as well with the follow-up Q and M3. They'll use that to seal the game. M3 feel like they've just woken up and become the team that we are usually expecting to see from them. It's such a convincing closeout. These guys, they did.